Mirankov is live with us from uh, the streets of Kyiv. He's uh, a citizen of Kyiv and he's been reporting for India today and getting us a sense and a view of what's happening in the city that could next be under siege. Uh, Serhi, four city ceasefire has been called by Russia for four big cities of Ukraine. Uh, it's going to start in just a few minutes from now. L let's go to our pictures. Let's go to Serhi. Let's go to our pictures. Yes, Serhi, what do you think about this ceasefire? Uh, well, it's very hard to talk right now. Uh, I saw the images of Kharkiv, of Sumy, of yep. Chernigiv. I saw yesterday's images from Irpin and Bucha. It's terrible. It's horrible. It's, it's, it's unbelievable that in 21st century could be happen such a disaster. Yep. Disaster caused by one guy with his one crazy ambitious. And uh, I hope that uh, I hope that NATO will close the sky. And I hope that India, as India Prime Minister called to our president, will also be engaged in this process. And uh, India is a great big country. Uh, many Indians are in Ukraine. Many, many Ukrainians visit India. We yeah. have lots of connections and cultural things together. And uh, we need to stay together. And I hope uh, it will help us. Uh, it it right, will. Right in, in fact, in fact Serhi, the, the Indian Prime Minister has just spoken to President Zelensky for 35 minutes just now. They just finished a 35-minute phone call where they talked about working together to try and bring about peace. India has also put pressure on Russia, you know, for a possible ceasefire. Uh, you know, but like you rightly said, even though the ceasefire has been announced, many places are continuing to, being, uh, to be attacked including, you know, the places surrounding Kyiv, like Hostomel and Irpin. We saw, you know, our reporters were there on the ground yesterday during the ra rocket attacks and the shelling. So those attacks are continuing despite the ceasefire. That's what you're saying. Yes, absolutely right. And uh, nobody cares about the children, children who are dying, dying right now, dying yesterday and the days before. All this blood on the Russians, on the Russian army, on the Russian <sighs> troops, which are don't care about everything which is going on for, for, for them. Uh, hard to say, sorry for this, uh, for the moment, hard to say something. What sorry. I, I understand. I saw the images. I, I understand, I understand, Seri, because we've seen those images as well, and, and this is your country, so I, I, I totally understand your emotions. Uh, I wanted to ask you about, uh, you know, places like Chernihiv, places like Kharkiv right now that are continuing to be attacked. Today happens to be day 12 of this military operation. Uh, uh, from your networks, are you saying that the damage is going up? More and more bombing is happening right now in these cities? Yes, the uh, bombs are, are dropping. Uh, they're destroying infrastructures. They are destroying buildings with the civilians, with the children, with the, with the old people. They're destroying railway stations, they're destroying military objects, they're destroying infrastructure for a heat. There are no heat, electricity and water in Irpin, Gostomel, Bucha for uh, several days. And uh, our army trying to evacuate as much, uh, as much people as they can to the safe places. But it's, it's very hard to do because the Russian army didn't, didn't, get, get, didn't give a green corridor for this evacuation and all this happening right now under the rocket attack, under the air force attack, etc., etc. What do you think is going to happen next in Kyiv, Serhi? Uh, the, the attacks that have been taking place have been happening very close to the city, 20 to 25 kilometers away. Many people believe that, uh, you know, the Irpin, Hostomel area is the final kind of gateway before the path is cleared for the Russians to actually get into Kyiv and besiege the city. Do you think that's what's going to happen next? I don't know the plans of these crazy Russians for right now. Uh, the, what, we, what we see right now, yes, it, it's, it sounds to be like a true. But I hope uh, that something will happen good. That NATO will close the sky. There will no longer no rocket attack. But, uh, but we all understand that it's geopolitics. And without, if, if I can to speak right now to all Indians who hear me, I hope that Indians are praying for us. The Indian government will support Ukraine, will support Indians who are in Ukraine, and will support Ukrainians who are in India right now. Uh, India is a big country, and it has enormous resources to explain for Putin, for the rest of the world, why we should stop him and why we should close the sky 
about the Ukraine, because it's, because it's a, this is a safeness of the not only Europe but of all Eurasia. That's what I can say. Okay. My final question to you, Seri, is about you know about the NATO air defense, uh, you know, closing the airspace that you were talking about. Uh, uh, you know, the U.S. Secretary of State yesterday, Seri, had said that uh, they've approved NATO countries to provide fighter jets to Ukraine to continue to fight this war. Uh, many people believe that's not happening fast enough. What Ukraine needs is closure of airspace and an air defense umbrella by NATO. Do you see that happening? Because NATO doesn't seem to be very keen to do that. Because they think it'll become NATO a direct a, war between a, NATO and Russia then. NATO is, you, you, you know the history, NATO is a quite old organization yeah. with their status, with their protocols, etc., etc. They, Of course, they are afraid that Putin will attack uh, European countries, Latvia, Litva, Estonia, uh, France, whatever, Spain. Uh, we don't know exactly what is in his head, but he, for sure, he just need a reason to attack. So it's not only war between Ukraine and Russia. It's a war between whole humanity, like normal humanity and Russians. Because Russians for right now, they don't want to live in the normal world, which uh, were created after the Second World War. So that's why I think I can predict that some countries of NATO will support Ukraine. But we don't know the, exactly the result of this support for the other countries. And I understand their, their fears, what could happen with their countries, with their civilians, with their forces. So let's hope NATO will consider the things. They will close the skies. They will give us Air Force. A, a, and probably we will, we, will keep, we will keep on fighting with Russians on the ground and the sky will be closed and no civilians will die under their attack. Uh, the, the, the use of Russian aircraft appears to have increased over the last few days, Seri. We've seen many Russian aircraft, uh, you know, uh, striking inside Irpin, uh, striking in other countries, Kharkiv as well, if I'm not mistaken. A video has just come out and we'll put it on our screens, uh, which the Ukrainian uh, Ministry of Defense has put out, of another Russian helicopter that has apparently been shot down somewhere. So... Uh, so the air defense, air defense systems in Ukraine are working quite well, apparently. Yes, they, they, they work quite well. Our guys, our, our troops are good in this, but uh, the resources are like ending and we need more. Hmm. We need more rockets. We need more defen de 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 defensive uh, air aircraft. I don't know how to, how to explain yeah, it in yeah, I understand. Like a normal way. Uh, we are keeping fight. We are keeping fight, and uh, we will fight until we can. Serhi, thank you very much. Stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you very much for being with me here on India Today. Your message going out to millions of Indians. Thank you very much for being here.